Fabi, congratulations, a labored victory for you. This was not easy. It looked easy at one point as you were approaching that time travel situations, those last couple of moves before the new time control. But it felt like he got back into the game. How did you recover from that and start anew this attempt at winning the game? Yeah, I, I think I was winning at some point very clearly because he, he went for a very strange decision. Um, I didn't really understand why he played d5. It, it wasn't necessary, I think, although the position is, of course, a mess. Uh, but yeah, d5 was a very strange choice to my mind. And then I thought that I, I have a, a huge advantage. Uh, you did? But maybe yes. I, I, I captured on a4 prematurely. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, this, this just looks crushing. I mean, yeah, yeah taking on a4 was, was just very impractical. I should. The pawn's not running anywhere. I can play queen g6, and uh, th later I realized, like, why don't I just play queen g6, and if king h2, then I can take the pawn, or I can even play h6, because he's actually in, in domination. Uh, okay, rook a1 is, of course, not what you want, <laughs> but I, I, I was a bit too direct, um, and I kind of thought that this position after queen e6 would be winning, which maybe it is, it but is, uh, yes. then it, it, it became... Yeah, here I thought there's, there must be something, Queen d7, bishop b6, I just didn't see it. I, I felt like there's something here, but I couldn't quite uh, quite see it. Uh, not that clear. Yeah, knight c3. Yeah, not that clear. I wouldn't say this is clear. Queen e1 and bishop f3. Yeah. But then, yeah, I couldn't figure knight this out. d4, this is not not obvious. Yeah, it's a, like I'm not mating him directly. So it's, you know, it's a little bit difficult to sacrifice my queenside pawns when I felt like if I kept them, I should also be much better winning, but then I lost control completely. Uh, he was hanging in very well. Yeah, I, I just... Okay, every move is a blunder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. Bishop e4 is a mistake, right? It's so natural to play bishop e4, but it's like... Knight it's not the e8 accurate, seems yeah. to be the best move. Good luck playing knight e8 with 20 seconds on the clock. It makes no sense. But b5 maybe, just start pushing the pawns, right? But I, I didn't want to allow rook d8. That's the, the only thing. I didn't want to misplace either. I guess the thing is the knight on e8 is actually very decent, yeah. which I didn't realize. I just didn't want to put it there. Uh, but he is kind of getting checkmated in many lines, or maybe I just push my pawns and uh, and he, he can't yeah. he can't really pr uh, defend against that because his king is chronically weak. Then once he got f3, I think it's a complete mess again. Um, you know, in, in fact, I was a little bit happy that he played like this g4. Because after bishop d3, I, it's, it's kind of a double-edged position. After g4, yeah, queen c5, rook d3, okay, we get a technical endgame. It's either a draw or, uh, yeah, probably it's a draw, but I, I don't risk anything. Um, and with the time control being so unforgiving, at least here, okay, it's nice to have that uh, playing for two results situation rather than playing a very messy position down in exchange. And yeah, yeah, then it was a, a clear, clear draw for sure at some point. I a, felt a very clear draw. at this point, you were making you know, I, some strides I saw in the I saw queen c7. I saw queen c7 after queen a4, but I thought f4. I didn't see how to continue. Queen like, to c7 here? Of, you mean where? No, no, not not here. There's a moment when I played h5. Okay, when you played h5, yes. Queen to c7, right? Yeah, now. here. So I have queen c7, f4, queen b6, king f3. I didn't see how to how to do it. It's only like he has only squares. Queen b7, king e3. Mm -hmm. Queen g2, queen a7, king. I, I can hide from checks like this. Yeah. Really? It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't feel like I'm hiding, but somehow. Queen b8, queen g8, queen e5. Uh, yeah. You know, when when he went for this, uh, this I, I really thought queen c7 is. Like, my first instinct was queen c7, he resigns. And then I saw this f4, and I was trying to make some checks work, but I couldn't, so I just gave up on the idea. Uh, but maybe it's. The, yeah, I guess this was winning. Uh, and, and I think yeah, here I thought one it's more very unpleasant. At this point, after h3, queen to g7, ah, instead king. of king, queen to f8, queen to f6, tried to stop you from going to e5. Yeah, you know, king e7 was kind of a random move. I was like, I, can't make queen, I couldn't make queen d6 work. I couldn't figure it out because king g4, I didn't see how to continue. And I thought, okay, king e7, he's low on time. I'll confuse him with this move, which he doesn't expect. <laughs> which is probably a bad move. Yeah. King g4, like what's... Queen, queen, a6. Ah, queen a6. But I thought queen b3, I saw this. <coughs> queen g7, queen c3, I thought. How do I hide again? Queen f6, queen c7, king, king h8. h8. 
Yeah. I'm on H7, yeah, I have checks on G7. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. I, I was missing missing a lot of things, yeah. Okay. <laughs> These queen end games are extremely difficult. Uh, Fabi, still a very important victory for you, the first victory in the tournament for you. Very important because uh, one Abimanyu, only 14 years of age, is running away, uh, scoring a lot of victories already. Uh, what do you think of his performance? Yeah, I guess he's, uh, well, he's some sort of genius. <laughs> some sort. I mean, uh, he's, uh, yeah, the, these little kids are, are really dangerous. I remember also also last year, like, uh, the, the kids are coming and uh, they're causing us all a lot of trouble. Uh, like last year, Wesley, Wesley lost to um, Christopher, you. to Christopher, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it's, you, you really can't underestimate them because they're, you think they're young and they, they don't know much compared to, okay, we've been playing chess for forever, of course we know a lot more, but they, they work very hard, they calculate well. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, Misha is, is a really, really strong player already despite his, his young age. Um, so definitely not to be underestimated. Absolutely. Our congratulations, Fabi. Get yourself some rest, <laughs> and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Absolutely. As we have one game remaining,